Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Over how to make wudu. La ilaha illallah. Just pray salat like at any time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Welcome to another, another series of Islamic lecture. This lecture will be about salat or Islamic prayer. In the last in the last lecture we were talking about the five pillars of Islam. Salat is one of the five pillars which is which means it is mandatory for all Muslims. For the link for the for the previous video is going to be right here. Let's get started. First of all, let's talk about what is salat. Salat is a form of worship that Muslims perform. So that means salat is performed all around the world by Muslims everywhere. Salat is mandatory and performed five times each day. So they are Fajr, Zuhur, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha. Salat was taught to us by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أتل ما أوحي إليك من الكتاب واقيم الصلاة إن الصلاة تنحى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون صدق الله and the transliteration is recite, O Muhammad, what has been revealed to you of the books and established prayer. Indeed, prayer prohibits immortality and wrongdoing, and the remembrance of Allah is greater, and Allah knows that which you do. This means that praying salat, like praying Fajr, Zuhur, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha, it can let you like stay away from doing bad things and doing bad and inappropriate things and remembering Allah is greater. So Allah knows all what you're doing. Next is intention. Making intention before you pray salah is very important. It shows that you're praying from the bottom of your heart, which Allah knows. It means genuinely praying, not just doing it it means you are genuinely praying, not just playing for show off or because others are praying. Always remember to have intention before praying to Allah. Well, technically not only praying to Allah, but for anything. For every single thing that you do, you have intention. And you will get the hasanat, whether the intention is true or if you don't have an intention just doing it, like if you're doing it for show off, then you probably won't get the hasanat. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi Sallallahu alayhi wa said, Innamal a'malu bin niyat. Everything is done by intention. So, whenever you guys are doing something, you guys need to have intention or niyat, especially during praying salat. Our five prayers. These are our five prayers. Fajr, you pray Fajr before the sun rises, you pray Zuhur after lunch, you pray Asr after the noon, and you pray Maghrib after sunset and Isha when the sky turns dark. So these are our five prayers that all Muslims pray every single day. These are our five mandatory prayers that we were that we that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, taught to us because even though we can't see Prophet Muhammad, we have the hadith, so that's how we know how to pray salat correctly and just like that. These are our five prayers again. Fajr is two rak'ahs or units. Zuhur is four rak'ahs or units. Asr is again four rak'ahs or units. Maghrib is three rak'ahs and Isha is four rak'ahs. As you can see here, the rak'ahs is units or how much like pieces like let's say one piece of the salat is one unit fajr is two pieces and when you have those two pieces it makes fajr same thing for all the rest but just four four and then three rak'ahs and then four rak'ahs what are the benefits of salat 
The benefits of Salat are it fulfills the commandment of Allah. It can also encourage people to avoid bad and inappropriate actions. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a house without pillars? I haven't, but I'm sure you haven't either, because pillars are like the base of the house. The same thing in Islam. The five pillars are like the base of Islam. If you don't do those five pillars, then you're not Muslim. So, Salat is one of them, so make sure you always pray your Salat. Salat can also help us live a good and responsible life. It also brings us closer to Allah and our community. Next, we're going to be going over how to make wudu. Let's say you were playing in the mud, and then you realize that it's time to pray asr, and then you go to the nearest masjid, and then you decide to pray asr right there. But then you look at your clothes and then your hands. They're all muddy. What should you do? If I was you, I would go to the to the restroom and then make wudu because again if you like let's say if you have a meeting and then you come in not good clothes like if you go to an interview and you have not good clothes do you think the people are gonna hire you for their for their job i don't think so so make sure you have discipline whenever you are praying salat and t basically in anything you do to make wudu you have to wash your hands three times like one two three you have to wash your mouth three times by gurgling water like you got water and then you're gonna spit it out you're going to wash your nose three times like this you're gonna put water in your nose and then take it out three times then you're gonna wash your face three times like that three times and then next continuing you have to wash your arms until the elbow like from here to all the way down to your elbow three times you're gonna wipe your head one time you're gonna wash your ears one time and then your foot all the way to the ankle one time three times next is how to give the azad which is a muslim's call to prayer here we have amir rashid here so that he can demonstrate us how to say the azad to say the azad you have to say allahu akbar Four times, you're gonna say Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah two times. You're gonna say Ashadu Anna Muhammad Rasulullah two times. Hey ala salah two times. Hey ala al falah two times. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar two times. And then La ilaha illallah one time. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah, Amir, that was very beautiful. Now let's move on to how to say the Iqam. To say the Iqam, you're going to say everything, but you're going to divide the number of times you say it by two. So you're going to say, Allahu Akbar, two times. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, one time. Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah one time. Hey ala salah, hey ala al-falah, one time. Qadi qamati salah to qadi qamati salah two times and then Allahu Akbar one time la ilaha illallah one time here's how i say the iqam Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar ashhadu an la ilaha illallah ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah hayya ala salah hayya ala al falah Kadikamati salah to Kadikamati salah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. MashaAllah, Mafuz, that was a very beautiful recitation of the Iqam. Let's move on to the dua after hearing the Azan. 
The dua after hearing the azan is Allahumma rabba hadita wa titamma wa salata la qa'ima ati muhammadan wal wasila ta wal fadila wa ba'athu maqam al mahmur alladhi wa atta. And the meaning is, O oh Allah, Lord of this perfect call and of the regular prayer which is going to be established, give Muhammad the right of intercession and illustriousness, and resurrect him to be to the best and the highest place in paradise that you that you progress him of, then my intercession for him will be allowed on the day of resurrection. Allahu Akbar. Amin. Next is quiz time. Go ahead, everyone, put your answers in the comment section below. So the quiz goes like this. I'm going to give you a question, which is true or false, and then you're going to pick true or false. You're going to write down T for true or F for false down in the comments below. The first question is, Salat is obligatory for every practicing Muslim. In other words, this means Salat is needed, like it is very important for, like, it is mandatory for every Muslim. Do you guys think it is true or false? The answer was true. If you guys wrote that down, good job. Next is, the five daily prayers in Islam are Fajr, Zuhur, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha. And Isha. <coughs> Isha. True or false? Go ahead and write it down in the comments below. If you said true, then you are absolutely correct. Next, we have, it is mandatory to perform ablution or wudu before each prayer. In other words, it is neat, like you have to perform wudu before each prayer. True or false? Did you guys say true? Well, good job if you did. Four, niya means intention in Arabic. True or false? Did you guys say true? Well, good job. That is absolutely correct. Five, if someone misses a prayer, they can make up for it later. True or false? Did you guys say true? That is absolutely correct again. Six, Salat fosters a connection bet between a Muslim and Allah, promoting spiritual mindfulness. In other words, this says that Salat can can build a bond between a, between a Muslim and Allah, which can make the Muslim have spiritual mindfulness. Did you say true? That is absolutely correct. Good job. Seven. Salat can be performed without facing the Qibla or the direction of the Kaaba in Mecca. In other words, this means whenever I'm praying, I don't have to face the way of the Qibla, which is the, which is the direction of the Kaaba in Mecca. True or false? Did you guys say false? Good job. Eight. It is permissible to pray while sitting down if one is unable to stand due to illness or injury. In other words, this means a Muslim can sit down and pray if, like, if he can't, if he or she can't stand because of a, an illness or an injury. True or false? Did Did you say true? Good job. That is absolutely correct. Next is nine. Performing salat together carries greater reward than praying individually. In other words, if you pray together, like for example in the masjid or with your friends, then that will give you more hasanat than praying individually. Well, will it though? If you said true, that is correct. Ten. Reciting Surah, Surah Al-Fatiha is mandatory in every raka'ah of the Salat. True or false? Did you guys say true? Yes, that is absolutely correct. Keep it up. 
11. To have niya, you need to pray sincerely by the bottom of your heart. In other words, to have niya, you need to pray genuinely and not just because people are just looking at you or because you have a crowd looking at you. Did you guys say true? Good job. 12. Mandatory salat can be performed at any time during the day without specific timings according to Islamic teachings. In other words, this means I can just pray salat like at any time. Like I could pray salat at midnight, I could pray salat in the middle of the day. Like let's say I could pray fajr like at the at midnight. Is that correct? Well, let's see what the answer is. Did you guys say false? Yes, that is absolutely correct. Good job, guys.